Many people have seen the custom startup messages on my Boofwang UV5R radios and have begged to know how I put those messages on the radio. So because I am such a helpful and positive person and because I am getting tired of answering the same question over and over, in this video I am going to reveal how it's done. To set your own custom power on messages, you will need a Boofwang UV5R UV5X BF F8HP UV5R GMRS version, TID radio UV5R, or pretty much any radio that looks like one of these. You will need a cable such as this that will go from your radio to your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer, which you will also need. You cannot set a custom start message on your Boofwang UV5R directly on the radio. The only way to do this is with a computing machine. These cables cost about $23, and if you do not have one, I will put an affiliate link in the more information section of the video below. And allow me to take a moment just to point out that you can find less expensive cables than this one. However, if you look through the online forums, you will see the cries of anguish and much gnashing of teeth from many people that try to save seven or eight dollars by purchasing one of those cheaper and lesser quality cables only to find out that they do not work. And finally, on your Windows, Mac or Linux computer, you will need the free Chirp software. And for your convenience, I will also put a link to that in the information section below. Once you have assembled all of the prerequisites, you simply connect the radio to your computer with the aforementioned cable, thusly. Be very sure that the plug is clicked in all the way, and just when you think it is plugged in all the way, push it harder, just to be sure. Then plug this end into one of the holes on your computing device. Then ensure that your radio is turned on and that the volume is turned up to about halfway. Then using your Windows, Mac, or Linux computing machine, execute the Chirp software. Yours may look slightly different from mine, but do not let your heart be troubled. Mine is just better than yours. Then in the Chirp software, from the menu, select the radio option, and then select download from radio. In the window that pops up, the correct port should already be selected. If it is not, then you are probably using Windows. So good luck with that. Then in the vendor box, select the correct brand. For a standard UV5R, this will be Boofwang, and then select UV5R from the model list, and then hit OK with your pointing and clicking device. This will then load all of the programming and settings from your radio into Chirp so that you can then view it on your computing device screen. To get to the custom startup message option, which in case you have forgotten is why we are here, near the top of the screen, click settings. And then on the left side of the screen, click on other settings. On the right side, you will then find two lines labeled power on message. And this is where you can type in your new personalized startup message. Simply click your pointing device into these two boxes and you can type in whatever you want, as long as each line is no greater than seven characters in length. And while you're there in the next line down in the box labeled power on message, ensure that message is selected. Now at this stage in the process, you may think that you are done and that you can immediately begin enjoying your new startup message, but you would be wrong. At this point in the process, your change only exists on your computing device. You must now write your changes back into your radio, which is very easily done by selecting the radio menu option and then clicking the upload to radio option. And then after you click the OK button to continue, all of your changes will be pushed at the speed of light into your radio. Congratulations, your radio now has a custom power on message that nobody else is ever going to see. <laughs>